Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros at Florida State University, Department of Computer Science. Uh, today we're going over editors. We just did Pico, now we're going to do VI, which stands for Visual Editor. Uh, let's get there. We're going to use Bitvice here. And we're going to log into Diablo again. Uh, mention that uh, students use Shell. Works the same way. We'll get rid of the banner. And there we're logged in. All right. Now, uh, again, I've got a directory set up for that, so we're going to go to it. We're going to go to our directory where we have our uh, commands and our um, files. Clear, and here is our editors, and we're going to do uh, row.txt. And we're going to go in and you can edit any ASCII file, any character file. Now to invoke VI you say uh, VI and then the file that you want to edit. Oops, spell all right. Um, if it doesn't exist it will create it. If it uh, does exist it will open it up. Now there's another option here. It's a dash R. I can put the dash R right there. It's not used very often but it's used to recover a file that uh, you were editing when uh, the crash because what VI does, what all the editors do, is create a temporary file while it's editing and uh, doesn't actually write out to the named file until you sell it to. So we're going to do VI row.txt and there it brings it up. Okay. Okay, let me get rid of this. This is another message down here. So there is our uh, file. Uh, and I'm going to use the cursor keys to kind of move around in it. Now, VI is what's called a mode editor. And there is some, I won't say controversy, but there's there's usually people are divided into two camps. Do I use the VI editor? Do I use the Emacs editor? Uh, VI is a, a relatively old editor that's been around for a, a lot. It's uh, case sensitive. Uh, but it's called a mode editor because it has two modes. It has an insert mode and it has a command mode. Just like this, it's in command mode, which means that if I start typing letters, it's not going to know what I'm talking about because the letters are commands to it, which we'll go over a little bit. If I want to insert text, I move the cursor to where I want to go to and I press the lowercase i. And you'll notice down at the bottom, it goes into, it says insert, and it says you're at row 9 column 1 and I can start typing in text okay and as long as I'm typing in text it, it'll do that whenever I want to stop typing in text okay okay I just hit the escape key and boom it goes back to uh, command mode okay so now we're in a command mode now let me show you some of the commands Okay. It's good to have like a, uh, a cheat sheet kind of written out uh, for this. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to save it. Well, I'm going to save it with these changes into it. Okay. To save it, you um, uh, there's several different ways to type in commands. Some have a control key that you hit first. Some have a colon. Some are just the uh, letters themselves. But once you learn them, what you find out about VI is it's very, very fast. Your fingers never leave the keyboard. And people who get very used to VI Editor edit files very, very quickly. Okay, so the very first thing to do is how to uh, save the file. Okay, well, uh, what you do is here is if you want to save the file, you type the colon key and it's expecting a command. W, and it says, I wrote the the text out. Okay. Now if I want to quit um, the uh, command, the one that's used most often is shift and then X. Okay. X and hit enter and boom it quits it and writes out. That's the one you use most often. I'm going to use the up arrow key and we're going to go back in and edit this file again. Okay. That's for a full screen editor. Okay. Alright. So that's control X. The other one that's used, uh, which I won't do right now, just uh, just do insert uh, down here and show you what it is. Insert mode, okay. 
is a colon Q and an exclamation point. That is um, one X uh, quit uh, VI. Don't save the last change. It's kind of a severe thing to do. Let me hit the escape key and we're back in the command mode. Okay, now, um, unlike uh, many PCs and Macintoshes, uh, um, the mouse doesn't uh, have any effect inside the VI editor. And that's because uh, when VI was uh, created, there was no such thing as a mouse. Uh, you used everything with the keyboard. And the keyboards themselves didn't actually have arrow keys. The old QWERTY keyboard just had the, uh, like a typewriter keyboard. So uh, here is um, the uh, J. Let me move the uh, cursor. Put it in here. Okay, now I'm just going to put it right in the middle here. I'm actually using the uh, keyboard now. J is move it down one line. Okay. K is move it uh, up. Okay. H is move it to the left. And L is move it to the right. Now, if you see, those are lined up H, J, K, L. They're right underneath your right hand finger. So, people who get very used to editing keyboards don't have to move the uh, fingers very much to actually move the keyboards and get very adapt at it. Okay. Zero takes you to the beginning of the line. The dollar sign takes you to the end of the line. They're not used very often. W takes you to the beginning of the next word or the current word. Let me move it over here so you, uh, you can move left a, a word right at a time. B uh, back to the beginning of the previous word. Okay. The colon zero is uh, oops at the beginning of the file. A uh, colon uh, and you put in a number, it takes you to that row number. And then colon dollar sign takes you to the end of the file itself, or the beginning of the end of the file itself. Uh, there's also move forward a page, move backwards a page. Control F moves you forward a page. Uh, Control B moves you back. Uh, Control D is a half screen forward. Control U is a half screen up. Control L redraws the uh, screen. And then Control R redraws the screen and moves deleted line if you're under that editor. Now, uh, let's say that I'm doing insert here. I'm put it in insert mode, and I'm going to say hello, and then I do escape. Okay. Here's an interesting one. You just type in you undoes the previous command. Ha ha ha! It's pretty neat. <laughs> and you can keep doing you 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 undo undo undo, and it will undo all the previous commands, which is kind of a neat thing to do. Okay. Now we showed you insert mode I. There's also uh, uh, A, which is a, a pen text after cursor. Okay. So we're going to say here, uh, say A. Okay. Uh, now it moves the cursor to the right one time and starts uh, adding text right there, rather than at the current line. Okay. Now this is another one, nice one too. That's uh, very useful. Is uh, O, which is open and put text in a new line below the current line. Okay. Hello. Okay. Escape. I'm going to undo that. Okay. And then uppercase O, Shift O, which is the previous line. Again, kind of neat. Okay. Okay. Now uh, let's see. Uh, there's some other text, like for instance, R is replace a single character, say R. So, so we'll say P. And it just does. That's all it does. It replaces one character. So you hit R and you hit the character you want to replace it with, and you're back in command mode. Okay. I'm going to undo that one because I don't want to change the poem. Uh, uppercase uh, is uh, R is replace characters as we're starting. So I can hit uppercase R and I can just start typing now, and it will overwrite the uh, letters. I hit escape mode, get it out of that. Of course, I don't want to do that. I'm going to press U for undo. Okay. A lot of variations there. You can do uppercase C, which is a change or replace the characters in a current line until uh, uh, the whole line itself. Uh, here's another one. X is delete a single character. So I'm going to put it in insert mode and uh, type 
a um, bunch of uh, letters. Okay, and hit escape. And then go back over here with my cursor keys and type X, 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 and just delete, 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 delete. Just typing the X key right there. Shishal, put one more. Uh, I can actually uh, append that and I can say, let me put an insert more and, says, and type four X's. Okay. And I can say four, I'm going to type the number four and then X and see that it gets rid of four X's for me. That's kind of neat. I can also uh, do the same thing with words. I can delete a word. I can say, um, uh, let me type in another. Uh, this is a word. Okay, hit escape. And then I can say, there's four words I got to do this. So I can say, uh, four uh, W. Okay, whoops. Okay, we're going to say, okay, I can say D four W and D four uh, W is delete four words. Okay, uh, I can delete line just by saying uh, delete the remainder of the line to the end of the line using uppercase D. Or here's another one that's nice. Uh, I can say um, let me put in sort. This is a whole line. Okay, hit escape. And I can go up here, and this is a very handy one, DD, lowercase DD, get rid of the line, DD, huh, very good. Let's go up and do that one too. Let's go up here and say DD, 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 and then shift O, and I bring in another line. Now, as you start to get a little practice with this, um, as you learn it, uh, again, it's a very, very fast way to edit a file once you learn how to use VI. So people who get very practiced at it, they don't like to go back and forth between a mouse and uh, the keyboard. They just want to keep their hands on the keyboard. Uh, so it, uh, people get very adapt at it much, much faster than people who just uh, use uh, full screen editors with uh, a mouse movement. Now, here's a, another thing I want to show you is uh, Yank. Okay. Yank is uh, how we copy and put something in the text. Unlike uh, Pico, which has uh, you mark the beginning of the text, there is no mouse or highlight that you can do to uh, select a group of text. So what you do is um, you say Yank. So right here I've got it at the beginning of the second uh, paragraph, and I've got uh, five lines right there. So I'm going to hit press the number five, and then Y, lowercase y twice. Oops, let me, let me hit escape, put it in. I'm going to press 5 and then YY. Okay. Okay. And what it did was it yanked, it pulled out uh, five lines, it copied them. Okay. So now what I can do is go down here. Okay. I'm going to do a lowercase o to open up a new line. And I'm going to say P for paste. Oops. Escape for paste and what it does is it actually pastes the lines out there. I'm going to undo that command and go back here. Uh, some other commands that are uh, very useful that you'll find is um, uh, you can search for a string so we'll go up here and again anytime you you want to put just kind of hit the escape key a couple times it's a kind of a, a tick that a lot of VI editors have you know just hitting the escape key make sure I'm in command mode and I want to look for something string. I want to say for road. Ah, there it is. Found two of them. Pretty good. You can, that's a search forward. You can search backwards with a question mark. Uh, in moves to the next occurrence of it. Okay. And then uh, uppercase in moves uh, back uh, to the previous uh, search of it. Okay. Um, that's about it. Uh, uh, control G. Let me hit escape again. Control G. Uh, gives you the uh, number of lines that are out there and um, uh, and then uh, I, I can do, uh, let me do escape, I can do a colon and then a dot equal okay and that tells me um, the, the number of current uh, lines at the, and it puts it at the bottom of the screen, you'll see it over to the right hand side that's the VI editor. There's a there's a little help document I pulled up. Uh, Colorado State University Computer Science Basic VI Commands. 
they've got a little document right there you can search for it and if you like I'll, I'll, I'll put that at the bottom here um, the, um, the I'll put it in insert mode okay control uh, shift O insert mode and this is at the uh, again a little help command is a uh, Colorado State University uh, it's called basic uh, VI command a very helpful little document but any help document on uh, VI will be uh, will do you well I mean it's, uh, VI hasn't changed very much over the years hope this helped you with uh, your editors this is a little bit long video but it should be very useful and uh, on to Emacs.